what's up guys this will be my fourth league starter and it's also another assassin uh league starter this is basically the creeping frost so why creeping frost because some of you have actually uh requested from me actually not some but many of you have requested for me to uh do a cold league starter cold build all right using the assassin and honestly right there is not a lot of good skills that you can use with uh cold damage and its skills with crit so stuff like maybe um maybe ice spear ice spear might actually be decent but i did not uh try it i do not have time to try it i actually tried out creeping frost and this is actually what i leak start with last leak um, I gotta say it is not extremely super smooth but it is decent, it is good enough to uh, help you with the kiosk recipe all the way until the low budget of the COC, alright? It's a bit iffy because when you click or select the area where you want to shoot the Creeping Frost, um, if you basically shoot it in front of you, it just will land in front of you and if you were to click it further away, it will actually shoot further away but Nonetheless, the projectile will still hit the first target that it actually comes into contact with, okay? So some of you might not like that, but I I, I find that there's actually no, no choice in this. I can't, I actually tried a Ice Nova League starter and it doesn't work out. It's really very bad. Um, same with Freezing Pulse. It's also really quite bad. Uh, you will actually struggle in a few of the areas where the resistance of some monsters are really strong and the bossing is just terrible. Alright, so Creeping Frost is much, much better. And here we go. This is for those of you that wants to play a cold build with Assassin to transit into CLC. Okay, I also want to apologize because I do not have a video gameplay of this. But for those of you that want to see the gameplay, I actually do have some videos previously uh, in regards to Creeping Frost where I actually do Act 1 all the way until Act 10. Alright, so if you really want to see some gameplays, do check that out. Alright, before I start, I just want to let you know that the POB is updated over here in my Google Spreadsheet. Okay, um, there is no link to it like all the other leak starters. This is a leak start build. You are supposed to grab anything and go. When I mean grab, <coughs> what I mean grab anything is, sorry. What I mean by grab anything is you're supposed to just review the rare items. At least have one life, one uh, resistance and then just benchcraft the remaining one and just get along with it. It's really that simple. You are not supposed to buy anything from here. Alright, so just take note of that and I will go through the POB now. Alright, so this is the POB for Creeping Frost. As usual, I have multiple skill trees. Uh, you can just browse it yourself all the way until level 90 for those of you that actually wants to have... Uh, to probably play Creeping Frost even longer or you might actually still be doing some Kiosk recipe after level 80, alright? And then the respect points over here because we do not need the small notes after you complete Act 10 and this is just before Act 10, okay? Uh, plus the level 44 skill tree right after Act 5 and this is probably the important one that you have to take note, okay? So, uh, same like all the other leak starter builds, I'm going to create the first one which is called Act 1 and I am going to show you what are the skills you should take. Okay, so here same, you're going to take the damage energy shield, elemental damage all the way until elemental focus, okay? So from here onwards, you uh, you can actually take blood siphon and you will just make your way up. This is level 12 already, okay? As you can see, this is uh, very straightforward. There is really nothing else you can take for Act 1. Uh, nothing is branching out or whatsoever, so just uh, go along with it. All right, um, it's not worth to take the nimbleness because we, even though we scale critical strike chance, right? The cold, the cold damage, uh, the cold dot damage from creeping frost doesn't really scale with crit multiplier. All right, so we don't want to take this and just go all the way up. All right, you can see we, uh, okay, this is level thirteen already. All right, so act one will be just like this. Very simple, very straightforward. 
um, if you do not want, you can remove this and you can take downwards. Alright, then you have more attack and uh, cast speed. Alright, this works as well. So do take note of these three. Um, for the skills, this is actually slightly different. So Creeping Frost, we're going to link it with Inspiration, Greater Multiple Projectiles, and Bone Chill. Okay, this four. This four basically is the core of the build. Um, when you have a four link, just get these four gems, link them together. And once you have a Tabula Rasa, which is the first thing that you should buy, um, equip an additional Concentrated Effect and Hypothermia to it. Okay, so take note of this. And for the auras, we're going to use Clarity, Hatred, Determination, and Defiance banner. Alright, and then we're going to have a 4 link Hex Touch debuff, which is the same like all my other Link Starter builds uh, Hydrosphere, Hex Touch, Elemental Weakness, and Frost Bite. So in this way, your Hydrosphere will actually inflict exposure to the monsters as well as curse them with Elemental Weakness and Frost Bite. Then, uh, then and there, you can actually take down rare monsters with very high resistance or map bosses and campaign bosses very fast. Okay, two line cast when damage taken. Uh, keep it at level one and molten shell level ten because we are using determination. So, this setup uh with molten shell is going to give you a lot more sustainability. Same uh for the movement skill, just use frost blink or flame dash up to you. I prefer frost blink. Link with Arcane Search level 1 so that you have your uh, Arcane Search buff almost full uptime. Alright, last but not least, uh, Summon Lightning Golem. You can use Summon Flame Golem, Summon Ice Golem, up to you. But Lightning Golem probably gives you more DPS overall. Alright, um, and then you have 10 empty slots remaining for you to level up. Actually, it's not 10. This is supposed to be 11. Okay, uh, so pardon me, you have more than that. Um, basically, this amount of empty slots... For you to level up your low budget uh, build skill gems uh, to transit is more than enough. Do take note of that. Okay, for the item wise, uh, for your wand, just go for either increased cast speed or increased spell damage, up to you. Okay, uh, if you have an additional prefix, you can just benchcraft an additional cast speed. Okay, it's going to give you more DPS slightly. Just benchcraft any of the damage modifier that's going to affect your build, okay? Uh, preferably spell damage or cast speed and before that just throw in an essence of way so that you have additional increased spell damage on your wand for the rest of the items your shield helmet gloves basically all your other rare items just fulfill three aspects of it first will be life second will be resistance and last but not least uh, your attributes so all your other rare items you just need to fulfill this criteria and you are good to go and of course uh, your body armor is tabula rasa like i mentioned previously this is the first thing that you should purchase as long as you have currency okay six links is going to bring you very far out it's going to give you a lot more dps than usual right for the flask just go with the quicksilver flask for the movement speed um granite flask for your armor and then the diamond flask for critical strike chance, silver flask for the onslaught so that we can hit much faster uh, with the reduced effect of curses and then just last but not least any life flask that has immunity to bleeding or corrupted blood okay uh, we actually have two jewel sockets so one is over here together with the power charge and the other one is the opposite side also with the power charge so one side we are going to equip conqueror's efficiency all right so that we have uh, sufficient mana to actually spam or use our skills with the very high mana regen we have more than enough and then the other side i'm going to go with assassin's head because it gives us mana regen it gives us uh, movement speed and it gives us attack and cast speed which uh all in all even though it's small it contributes a lot to the build all right so in the notes section i have the leveling guide just for equipping frost uh, including the three links to look out for in Act 1 and the four links uh, or sockets to look out for from Act 3 onwards to take note of this. I'm not going to go through the whole of it. Um, you can read it by yourself. Just follow word for word with the quest indicated and which skill gems you are supposed to take and you should be good all the way until Act 10. Alright, so yep, this is Creeping Frost for you. 
I guess, enjoy your lick. Okay, that comes to the end of this video. So um, if you have any questions, do join the Discord and I will try to answer your questions. And if you like my video, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. Bye.